Hello friends, this is a case of a 42 year old gentleman with a history of lab cholecystectomy 10 years back who has now presented with obstructive jaundice and multiple CBD calculi with the largest calculi measure around 3 cm. So the patient had undergone an ERCP where a CBD stent was placed a few days back and was then referred to us for further management and stone removal. So we are planning to do an ERCP with spyglass cholangioscopy and the large CBD calculus would be broken down by electrohydraulic lithotripsy. So we start the procedure by side viewing endoscopy and we have reached the second part of the duodenum. And you can see here we have a pre sphincterotomized papilla and the previous placed CBD stent is seen in situ. Now this CBD stent is being removed using a snare. After the removal of the CBD stent, we are now going to do a spyglass cholangioscopy. So as you can see in this assembly, this is the spyglass scope DS2, which has been attached to the side viewing scope and allows the endoscopist to do a cholangioscopy single handedly. The cholangioscope is passed through the working channel of the side viewing scope and then advanced into the CBD. The electrohydraulic lithotripsy probe is then passed through the working channel of the cholangioscope, thus allowing us to do lithotripsy under direct visualization. Here we have the view of the cholangioscope showing us the large CBD calculus which is completely occluding the lumen of the duct. So we target a prominent part of this calculus and under direct endoscopic visualization, the EHL probe is directed at the stone and is advanced at least 5 mm from the tip of the cholangioscope and positioned about 1 to 2 mm from the stone. When a correct and stable position is achieved and the stone is clearly visualized, the EHL system is activated by a foot pedal. Saline irrigation is crucial to provide a medium for shock wave transmission as well as to allow visualization of the duct and the stones and to flush away the debris. So we started the procedure by using a very low pulse frequency of 2 and the power setting is also low here. However, if required, one can increase the pulse frequency and the power settings of the EHL setup, especially when trying to break a very hard stone. So the large stone is gradually broken down into multiple small fragments and while doing so, it is important to keep irrigating the CBD with saline for good visualization and assessment of the calculus. After multiple pulses of lithotripsy, the stone was more or less broken down into many small fragments. However, one of the fragments was still quite large to be retrieved and hence we continued with the lithotripsy to shatter it completely into smaller fragments. Thus, finally, we were able to achieve complete fragmentation of the large calculus into multiple small pieces. Mm -hmm. 
Now, after the large stone was completely broken down into small fragments, the cholangioscope was removed and a cholangiogram was done. The stone fragments were extracted by multiple swipes of the biliary balloon. A check cholangiogram was done after this to ensure complete uh, clearance of the stones. A 10 French double pigtail CBD stent was placed in the CBD, thus ending the procedure successfully. Thank you for watching this video.